what's up team team baby all right as you can see i am back and i'm getting my energy back it's gonna take a little time but we are in here and we're doing a recipe for you today back with the recipes and yes you could see a little bit of my um tape right here for my incision that video will be a whole other video but I thought today I would show you guys a nice, yummy, healthy recipe um, that you can try for breakfast, snack, um, whatever. It's going to be a vegan oatmeal apple muffin. You can make it into a muffin or a cookie. Um, and you can also make it gluten-free if you choose gluten-free oats. But I'm just doing regular rolled oats. So I'm going to do it a little bit different. I've never done this recipe this way. Um, instead of applesauce, I'm actually going to use a whole apple and try and blend it up and get it into like a as much of like a thin consistency as I can for like my applesauce. So we're gonna cut this up, blend it, and then assemble everything together. But right now I have um, my oven preheated at 375, um, and they're gonna only bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. I cut up my Granny Smith apple, and it's super sweet. So it's gonna be really good. I'm gonna add in some almond milk. And like I said, this is my first time trying this, not doing like applesauce and doing it this way. So if you have a bullet, blend in your bullet, but if you don't, then you can use a food processor or a regular blender. Okay, so that was like the best idea I've had in a long time. Um, because it blended really well so just add like a splash of almond milk and this is like the best way to make your own applesauce oh my god so good the new recipe I'm just trying out so we're gonna add in a cup of oats and we're gonna see how today comes out so I'm gonna add in a cup of oats and then some cinnamon. You can add as much cinnamon as you like. I love cinnamon. And then I'm going to start with two packets of stevia because the applesauce is going to be really sweet. If you don't like stevia, you could use honey, agave, whatever you like. Um, and then I got some pumpkin spice here. So I'm going to use a little bit of fresh Pumpkin spice, probably like a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more. So I like to do my dry ingredients first. And then we're going to add in some baking powder. We're gonna do about half a tablespoon. And then, a, well actually, Stir up your dry first, just so all the cinnamon and sugar can get all up in there. And then, you guys can tell you, like these are so easy and so good. You can also add like protein powder. You can do so much to this, it's crazy. Um, so then I'm gonna add a splash of vanilla. Vanilla, vanilla. Okay, then let's add in our one apple. Oh my god, this is gonna be fire. Because fresh apple instead of using applesauce is gonna make it so much better. Alright, and then I'm going to do about starting with like half a cup of almond milk, maybe even like a fourth at first. It's always good to do like a little bit less before you go more so you don't ruin anything. And then this is optional too, but I have some um, dairy-free cashew yogurt. So I do want to try and add in a little bit. So I'm just going to do like one, two tablespoons, well, big spoons to start. And then let's get some of this on here. Okay, and then the best part. 
peanut butter. Peanut butter. So I love peanut butter, regular peanut butter, and this one is uh, Peanut Butter and Co., which is a really good company. Um, again, I'm just gonna add in like one huge scoop to start with. So good. I'm trying to gain my weight back. So you girls been eating good. All right, now stir her up. Oh my. These look like heaven. And then you can always tell by just tasting the batter and seeing what else it needs. But you look in my pan. Mm. Wow. And I live by myself which is why I'm doing this, but if I was cooking for like a bunch of other people, I wouldn't put this back in there, but it's just me. Okay, that's so good. I think I'm gonna add a little, a little bit more peanut butter because peanut butter is life and that's what gets you confident. These take no time, and they're so good. Okay, so now, all we gotta do, put it in there. You know what I'm thinking? For a little bit of protein, I might add, as you guys seen from my Vanilla Vegan Women's Best, I think I might add about half a scoop in here because I have a really good consistency as some protein. And now you can really, ooh, really have these for breakfast and it has loads of protein. Because like I said, we gotta get the names back. Spray my non-stick pan. If you don't have one, you can use the little cupcake muffins with my coconut spray. And I'm going to scoop in about two tablespoons each and put them in the oven. And I'll show you guys when they come out. Okay, so I ended up leaving them in for about 14 minutes and they look so good. I just pulled them out. So while they're cooling down, I wanna show you guys, since I always show you what kind of drinks I drink and stuff, and you know I love matcha, I got these new packets that are life-saving from the same place I always get my matcha at the reserve. And they have a bunch of new flavors, but um, this is a coffee blast latte, this is a matcha latte, and this is a choco blast latte. And I've been, this one tastes like chocolate milk. If you drink it cold over ice, it's so good. Um, the matcha one, but they all have really, really cool ingredients in it, like matcha, lion's mane, which is a mushroom to boost the brain, blueberry powder, um, inulin, it was a prebiotic fiber, coconut milk, so all these things I need right now. They all have different stuff, and they're literally, it's like a little packet. It's, everything's in here, so it's like the coconut powder, everything you just throw it in, you can blend it. I like to blend it with almond milk and then either heat it up or pour it over ice. So I'm definitely gonna make one of these with my muffin, but let's try this baby. OMG. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay, now it's super hot, but I always try things for you guys when they're really hot I have no idea why but let's give it a go oh. Oh my god you guys this is the best freaking oatmeal muffin 
I've ever made. That's so good. Please give this recipe a try. You guys will not regret it. If you have kids, your kids won't regret it. Husband, wife, anybody. So easy. I think these were literally under 20 minutes. In 15 minutes, bake for 15 minutes. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all soon.